Let us see the experience of two investors who have invested in gold. I will invest 1 lakh rupees in gold as prices are going up. No, I will not invest in gold now as prices are too high. Wow, gold price is really up. Now I will sell and make profits. Oops. I missed the golden opportunity. I will start investing now. I sold off at the right time. Hmm. Oh no. Prices have fallen so much and it looks like they will continue to go down. I think I will sell now. Let's look at some common myths associated with investing in gold. People tend to think that gold prices always go up, but in reality, gold prices are also prone to highs and lows. People also tend to think that gold is easy to sell, but due to absence of a centralized marketplace, it is not easy to sell gold without incurring some costs. The biggest myth that people have regarding gold is that it outperforms equity, but statistics show otherwise. But in spite of all these reasons, gold is not strictly off limits when it comes to investment. It acts as a hedge of protection against inflation and also outperforms equity during bad times. Not only that, it provides diversification for your portfolio and thus reducing risk. Let's see how investing in a gold ETF compared to investing in physical gold is. In case of a gold ETF, you can buy in quantities as low as 1 gram. Since you don't hold any physical gold, you don't end up paying premium or making charges. This also leads to eliminate the need for storage and risk of theft or impurity. As gold ETFs trade on exchange, it is much easier to sell them without incurring too much cost. There is no sales tax, VAT and wealth tax applicable on it unlike physical gold. Tax on long-term capital gains is waived if it is held for more than 1 year. 